Hello readers, my name is Miss Gary and I'm so excited to be learning with you today. Before we get started with our learning lesson, let's say hello with our welcome song. Hello readers, hello readers, how are you? How are you? I'm so glad to see you, I'm so glad to teach you. Hello you, you and you. So let's take a look at this anchor chart. These letters are called vowels. Each one may make a short vowel sound and a long vowel sound. So let's review our short and long vowel sounds. So I love to move. So we're gonna learn and review our long and short vowel sounds. I'm gonna crouch down when I say a short vowel sound and stand up when I say a long vowel sound. So let's do that together. Stand up for me and get ready, readers. Here comes the A. Short A says A. Ah. And long A says A. Ah. Here comes E. The short E says I. Eh. And the long E says E. Next is I. Short I, I. Long I, I. Next is O. The short O vowel sound says aw. Ah. And the long vowel O says o. Oh. And here's the U. Short U says u. Uh. And the long U says u. Wow, readers, that was great. We will find these vowels in every word that we read and write. But in addition to knowing our long and short vowel letter sounds during each lesson, we're going to learn some special words. The words have special names and they're called heart words. And we call these word heart words because we're practicing reading them so that we know them by heart or so we won't have to sound them out. To do this, we're going to create our very own heart word dictionary. You're going to need two pieces of paper and something to write with. While I grab mine, you go ahead and get yours. I'm back, readers, with my two pieces of paper and something to write with. I grabbed a marker, but it's okay if you grabbed a pen or pencil or crayon. So let's make our heart dictionary together. I'm going to start by stacking my two pieces of paper on top of each other, just like this. Now I'm going to fold them in half, hamburger style, or the short way. Wow, look at that, readers. It's a book. But we're going to draw a heart on the cover of our heart word dictionary so that we know we're putting our heart words there. Now we're ready, so let's read our first heart word. Look at this word. This is the word could. Can you say could? Good, now let's spell it. C-O-U-L-D, could. Let's say it one more time, could. Now we're going to write it on the first page of our heart word dictionary. Let's write it, C-O-U-L-D. Could. And there's mine. Great job. Let's get ready for our second heart word. Look at this word, readers. This is the word away. Can you say away? Good. Now let's spell it. A W A Y. Away. Let's say it one more time. Away. 
Now we're going to write this heart word on the second page of our heart word dictionary. A, W, A, Y, away. Great job, readers. We're going to learn one more heart word for our dictionary. Let's look at this word. This is the word they. Can you say they? Good. Now let's spell it. T-H-E-Y. They. Let's say it one more time. They. Now we're going to write our final heart word on the third page of our dictionary. T-H-E-Y. They. Excellent work, readers. Later today, you could share your heart word dictionary with someone you love or show them how you read it. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about how vowels work together on a team and that some of the time when vowels work together side by side, only the first vowel says its letter name, like here. So when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So to help us learn about how vowel teams work together in words, let's look at some of our most common vowel teams that we see in words. Let's look at this vowel team, E-A. Listen to me say this word, beach. Let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word beach. B, E, Ch. What sound did you hear this vowel team say? Normally, when we see the E and the A, they say the sounds E and A separately. But together, when we see them, sometimes they'll say the long sound E. So when two vowels are together, like E and A, in the word beach, the first vowel is doing all of the talking. So when I see EA together, what sound will it say? E. Can we build some more words that have the EA vowel team sound? We put a R at the beginning. Let's read this word, reach. What sound did you hear the EA say? E, so this word is reach. Now, let's look at our next EA vowel team word. The DR at the beginning of our word, that's a blend. So when we read that sound, we're gonna go d -r and blend the sound together. There's the E, and our final sound is M. So when I read it together, d r e m dream. Now, let's look at another pair of vowels that make the same E sound Let's read this word. This is the word keep. I'll point to the letters and you say the sounds with me as I point. K, E, P, keep. The letter K makes the K sound. The E, E vowel team makes the long E sound. And the P makes the P sound. The E, E vowel team, when they're together, is going to say long E, E. Can you say that? Good. Let's look at our next word with our E, E vowel team. This is a digraph. So when we see it, it goes th at the end of our word. So let's read it together. T, E, Teeth. This word is teeth. The E-E together 
make the long E sound. Let's read one more. My SL is a blend, so when I read it, it'll sound like this. Sl. Let's read this word. Sl. E. P. Sleep. That's the word sleep. So the E E together, that vowel team says E. Let's look at another vowel team. This is the vowel team AI. Together, they're going to make the long A sound, A. Let's look at a couple words that go with this vowel team. This is the word rain, rain. And I can change that beginning sound out to tr, and it will read train. So we're gonna take a look at just a couple more words that go with the vowel teams A-Y, O-A, and I-E. So let's look at our vowel team A-Y. This vowel team, when they're together, they're going to say A. So let's build a word. What word do we have? This is the word play. If I tapped out the sounds that the letters make in the word play, I would hear p -u -a, play. I can change my beginning sound with the sound d or the letter d and make the word day. So when we see this vowel team appear in words, most of the time, at the end of the word, it's going to make the long A sound. And let's look at another one, readers. This vowel team is the I-E. Do you remember what sound it says? Good, it says the long I sound. So let's sound out this word. Lie, like it's not good to tell a lie. So readers, Good job decoding some of our words that have vowel teams in them. You did an awesome job today learning about vowel teams and how when two vowels are side by side, the first vowel almost always says the letter name. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson today and I'll see you again next time.